welcome back to my channel. I have no haven't posted in so long. But today I'm doing a, something a little different I haven't did in my other videos. So if you want to know why I have a pickle here, looks like something else. And I'm trying this new hack that I, me and my mom saw on TikTok. And we're gonna try it. So our ingredients are a pickle, fruit roll up. I mean, like, you're supposed to get the raspberry one, but I got this one because we don't really buy fruit roll ups anymore. And if you like spicy, I mean, this is an option. If you like it, you can add a little bit of tahini, which is, I like spicy, but I have a sore throat today, so let's just add a little. Okay, so my mom said I need to dry up the pickle with a towel because it's not supposed to be wet. So the fruit roll up cannot get wet either. The pickle juice, and then it'll taste just awful. Okay, so first, you're gonna get your paper towel. So what, what am I doing? Towel. I don't know if this has bacteria on it. So, uh, the juice. Oh, I feel all the juice here. Take it out and flip it to the other side. Okay, this is. Everything is still good so far. Well, we did that wrong. Okay. So we're gonna take our pickle thing and eat it in the trash. We don't need that. Okay, so now that we have our dill pickle. Oh wait, I forgot to notice. If you can subscribe, do it now. And if you can like, which is I know you can, you can like do everything, yeah. You can also do it. If you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's optional, like why wouldn't it be optional? Okay, so now we have a pickle, and you can use any type of pickle except the freaking vinegar pickle. I don't want. I would recommend that. They're just a sour, and I don't think they go with sweet. Sweet and sour, yeah. Okay, so next, roll up. We're gonna cover it in that damn pickle. I'm gonna do this on camera because. Okay, let me just find more sweet. Not supposed to look like, but it's got a head. 
and a little bit of sprinkles on it. So I'm going to taste this there. right now. I'm going to show you. <coughs> I'm going to show you her and my reaction. Mother uh, is ready, but I couldn't wrap it. Let me see. It has a hat. <laughs> Que no lo abriste, Carly. I did. Bueno, let's try a little bit. If it tastes awful, let me know. Oh, you guys can't really do it. No, has to be there, Carly. I will. Mm -mm. It's bad, you guys. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> okay. Wait, like it, like it. She did not like it, you guys. I don't know if you should trust like the TikTok. Muy buenas noches, yo soy Vanessa Oque y estas son las noticias que usted debe saber antes de terminar su día. El presidente Trump se alista para reiniciar su campaña presidencial mañana mientras asegura ser inmune al virus y dice no ser contagioso. Todo mientras, según proyecciones de la Universidad de Washington, el número de víctimas fatales en el país podría duplicarse para enero. Y conocer a una mujer que está haciendo historia en la Fuerza Aérea de la República Dominicana es el comandante de un batallón de huevos. Buenas noches, Pero Vanessa. Si pues, en try. realidad, ni en su convalecencia el presidente le puede emitir mensajes a sus simpatizantes pero sí tuvo que cancelar todos sus actos de campaña. Y ya lo dices, será mañana cuando vuelva a los escenarios, esto en el estado de Florida, en la ciudad de Sanford. No olvidemos que Florida no solo es clave para él, sino fundamental en la estrategia para lograr su reelección. A este acto va con la carta de su médico bajo el brazo, luego de asegurar este domingo que es completamente inmune al coronavirus. Escuche. I even feel good by the fact that, uh, you know, the word immunity means something, having, uh, having a really a protective glow. Y más allá de los cuestionamientos que enfrentará sobre su salud, hay al menos dos retos en la vuelta del presidente a los mítines. Uno, según los sondeos nacionales, hay una ventaja de su contrincante demócrata. Según la última encuesta del Washington Post y la cadena ABC, Joe Biden mantiene un margen de 12 puntos sobre Trump, 54 contra el 42%. Y dos, el voto anticipado. Hasta ahora más de 8 millones de boletas han sido recibidas por autoridades electorales en 30 estados. ¿Por qué juega esto por ahora contra el presidente? Porque esta participación récord, según los datos disponibles, favorecería a la fórmula Biden-Harris, pues el número de boletas enviadas por demócratas registrados... Yo doy 3 a 1. Okay, and taste that. 